Before I get into this video, I wonder if you smell that. That's right, reprint season. What's going on with you guys? The Cali Effect, king of games here. And it's actually that time of the year to start flipping some cards that you may not necessarily need. That's right guys, if you have some high-end cards from last year or the years before, it is reprint season. The odds of your card being announced as a reprint happens about now-ish. And of course, you guys should know, before the reprint gets announced is the highest chance you have of somebody wanting your card at its maximum current value. So whether you're selling or trading, if you don't need these cards in particular, or you do mind taking a loss on these cards, then you should get rid of these cards before it is too late. In this video, I'm going to be naming a few cards you should consider flipping, as well as why, and it's possible set that it could be reprinted in, so you kind of have a time frame on when it will be reprinted. But keep in mind, I'm no magician, I'm no psychic, this is all speculation, for some of them. So of course, if you want to see more videos like this, then be sure to destroy that subscribe button. But also, to peep on more Cali Effect content, you gotta hit that notification bell so you can be too strong. Also, for the people that did not know, I do stream on Twitch. I am going to be having a claim sale at around 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's gonna be really fun as I'm going to have some goodies that you guys could get at a very good price. So with all that out of the way, let's jump on in so we can talk about these cards that you should probably get rid of unless you really need them. The first card I wanna to talk to you guys about has already been confirmed as two reprints. One, it's getting a higher rarity upgrade inside of OTS 16 and the next one it's actually getting a reprint inside of Battles of Legends 2021. Forbidden Drip is the card that everybody should have in their competitive Yu-Gi-Oh deck but for quite some time it has been very expensive. This card has been upwards to $120 per copy meaning that you needed to shell out $360 for a playset of this bad girl or angel or whatever you got going on there. Essentially, we call this card Forbidden Drip because you needed to have the drip to be able to afford a playset of this card alongside your deck. Now to further explain why Forbidden Drip is just so sought after is because it came in one of the best Yu-Gi-Oh sets of all time in Rise of the Duelist as a secret rare and of course it's an amazing card that allows you to break your opponent's board and depending on the situation your opponent can't even respond to it. Now the problem with this is that Forbidden Trip has already been confirmed a reprint, so you could say you're a little too late, but this card is still in high demand. If you don't need Forbidden Trip, this is the perfect time to be able to flip it before the next major event comes around and right before the reprint. I mean, because let's be real, it's getting a high rarity reprint in like a week. You can't be dripped out with the secret when ultis come out. Ulti Drip is always the best drip. The next card I want to bring to your attention has seen zero competitive play in quite some time. I'm not going to argue that it's not a good card, I think it's extremely good, but if you don't have a need for this card and just so happen to have three around, consider getting rid of it as a reprint should be announced for this card fairly soon. Magician Souls is a Yu-Gi-Oh card that was first printed inside of Legendary Duelist Magical Heroes and it's never been lower than $80 a copy for this card. And it actually does have a pretty good reason, it can special summon itself to the side of the field for free and then get rid of dead spells and trap cards from your hand or graveyard to draw cards, so it has a really good effect. The problem is, no one is playing this card. Seriously, unless you're a Dark Magician player, in the competitive Yu-Gi-Oh scene, Magician Souls sees zero Yu-Gi-Oh play, and it's a card that has been shooting up in price, it currently sits at about $120. You could say you'll have to sell your souls in order to get a playset of this card, because you need three and... Souls. Now Magician Souls isn't a peculiar situation because in theory, you could double down on this card and not get rid of it. We know for a fact that Magician Souls will receive a reprint next year, but that's at least six months from now. Reprints tend not to get announced until about two months before, so you do have about four months to play with this card and potentially have it go higher, but why are we risking this? We've seen in the past that leaks have happened months in the past, and once Magician Souls does get a confirmed reprint, it won't be $120. There's also the possibility that Konami could just throw a monkey wrench in and make it a Battles of Legends reprint, or a 2021 Mega 10 reprint, that would be Completely unpredictable, but it could happen. I will say that it's fairly unlikely for the 2021 Mega Tens reprint, but Battles of Legends 2021 does not feel like Battles of Legends of old. 
flipping your copies of Magician Souls is not a terrible idea because they're not competitive and on top of that they're fairly expensive. If somebody wants to get a playset of Magician Souls, you could actually flip this for three copies of Forbidden Drip. That's crazy. Now, ironically, I did mention these cards in my do not buy these cards video. So go ahead and check that out if you want a full breakdown on some cards you should just completely avoid buying. It will be quickly mentioned in here just because they have relevance to Magician Souls. I feel in the same set that Magician Souls will be reprinted, monsters like Evil Hero, Malicious Bane, and Adusted Gold will also be reprinted inside that set. So these are definitely some cards that you should also be looking to selling. But ironically, if people actually listen to my videos, then you'd have no market. But there are people that hate my videos. Sell to them. Sell to those people. Two years ago, we got a surprise reprint inside of the Battles of Legends set with Sky Striker, and then last year, we got invoked inside of Battles of Legends Armageddon. I feel like if we follow trends, Konami is giving us reprints from side sets inside of the Battles of Legends set, as well as the Mega Tens, but the most probable card to actually be reprinted in this year's Battles of Legends set following that formula is Adamantipate Researcher. Now, I picked Adamantipate Researcher for a few reasons. The main reason is that it is one of the most expensive cards in the Secret Slayer set. Secret Slayer set. God, say that five times fast. Secret Slayer set. Secret Slayer set. Secret Slayer set. Secret that's what I sound like in my head. The next thing is that we already had Outledge the Golden Lord from the Maximum Gold set reprint. The only logical thing is to include Ad Emancipators in Battles of Legends, but then that does leave a huge gaping hole inside of the 2021 Megatons. Unless you reprint the Dragon Maids in the 2021 Megatons, alongside of Chamber. Big brain, Konami, I see you. I feel like I just probably thought of their formula for them. Now, ironically, if they're watching this video and they're like, oh my God, we should do it that way, then we'll never know. Adams haven't been doing so well, but Adam Antipater Researcher is still $30. And just like how Outlitch has received support, Adam Antipater could still be in Konami's plans in the near future. Why not reprint it now to have more access to players and then later on in the future introduce more rock support that can make the deck good again? This formula has happened so many times, it's almost expected for a card like Researcher to be sold. And if you have an Adamantipator deck that you're just not using and somebody wants, well, I mean, it might just be a good time to flip it. There's also bonus points for Cursed Outland to be inside of the exact same Battles of Legends set, possibly as a secret rare, because that would be, oh boy. Secret Outlets, the Golden Lords, Secret Cursed Outlands, Secret Conquistador, Secret Rocket O, Yu Gi Oh! Boy, talk about drip in the Outlet deck. That is spice. Next is a pair of cards that have been shooting up in price ever since Scrafter has been confirmed a common in Lightning Overdrive. Scrap Chimera and Scrap Yard are two really powerful Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but really it's just Scrap Chimera if I must be frank. I mean, Scrap Yard is good, it serves as the Scrap Chimera, but a budget player just used Fossil Dig. It's the same thing. Unless you're a Scrap player, then um, just use Fossil Dig. It's the same thing. Now, since I made my Do Not Buy video, Scrap Chimera has went from $40 to almost $60. Seriously, did, did you did you not listen? Do not buy this card. This card literally screams, I'm going to be reprinted in the next OTS set all over. Seriously, if you go back and look at all of the other OTS sets, they have cards like Scrap Chimera in it every single time. It would be foolish not to reprint Scrap Chimera in OTS 16. It's like, it's like right there. And the only genuine difference between the two, which could give players pause, is that those cards typically were reprinted before the next card came out, but due to scheduling, I mean, that's just how it happened. I am seriously going to dig through my bulk hollows and I will have scrap chimeras on that claim sale tonight if anybody wants to buy for cheap and you still don't want to listen to my video. Well, that is all that we have for today's video. Cards that you should be looking to get rid of if you have no need for them. Of course, I want you to post down below in the comment section, what are some other cards that you feel are probably a little bit too expensive and possibly will get a reprint? I know there are so many more. Of course, if you wanna see some more amazing Cali Effect content, possibly some more market watches, uh -huh, go ahead and check out these videos as I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, and also, 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 Check me out on Twitch. We're going to be selling some things.